It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I feel like I've been treated like a king recently by the wonderful beer senders in Australia, Mick and Trav. I reviewed a beer yesterday called Conductor's Special Reserve and I'm following it up today. That was an 8% or 9% ABV uh, Baltic Porter from Deeds Brewing Company. I'm following that beer up the next day with something maybe even more special. I loved that Baltic Porter from Deeds. It was great. And I can't believe that, that there's something out there that could be better. But, and it's from the same brewery. So let's take a look at it. Deeds Brewing Company from Glen Iris, Australia. This is called Glorious Purpose and it's a blended imperial stout with cherries at 12% ABV. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm saying unbelievable because I've, ne I've not had, I've, I've drunk 20, 30, I don't even know, 20, 30 beers from Deeds Brewing Company and they've been terrific. They have been out of this world. And I can imagine that the naming of this beer, it gives it away, doesn't it? Glorious purpose. It, it, it's going to be a glorious beer. It's a limited release. It's a 440 milliliter can. It was sent by the wonderful Trav in Australia. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. But although I'm really, really happy by that smoke on the can opening and reading the introduction to the beer, it leaves me with a, a tinge of sadness. And that's because for the first time in a long time, I'm pouring out. I've been to my bar, I've dug, I've looked through the black beer fridge, I've I've looked at the 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 boxes and I this is the only beer from Australia that I have in the house right now and yeah, I'm pouring it. I'm pouring it. I'm all out. I'm all out of Australian craft beer and that saddens me. And it saddens me because I think Australia has some of the best breweries in the world. In the world. They are doing stuff in Australia that you can only experience in Australia. What I'm trying to say here is that lots of people know of Australian hops. It's a great exporter of hops in that lots of American craft beers feature Australian hops. British brewers feature Australian hops. That's all good. That's all good because um, Australian hops are fantastic. But if you think about the logistics of it, the Australian hops have to travel to the UK. They have to travel to America before the beer is even brewed. So there's going to be a slight drop off in quality of those hops even though they're fantastic so what i'm saying here is that when i get something from australia a hoppy beer i'm it's ultra ultra fresh because it's coming from the australian hop farm down the road to the australian brewer who's then brewing it and then you've got Wonderful people like Mick and Trav who are, who are sending me these beers ultra fresh. I mean, they're going to their bottle shops and they're picking these beers up. I have messages from these guys saying that this this beer was canned like three days ago. It's taken a couple of weeks. This, is, this, this beer is a couple of weeks old. So I have been drinking hoppy beer from Australia from the sharp end. The sharp end of... of Freshness, absolute freshness. But on this occasion, we're reviewing an imperial stout with cherries, <laughs> which is slightly different. It's not so much the hops as it's going to be the roasted malt and the cherries, of course.
So beer in the glass, we had a one finger tan coloured head. I'm, I'm gassing a little bit here. I'm, should have concentrated a little bit more on the beer, but there we go. I, I like to, I like to big up Australian craft beer. Uh, it's a jet black beer in the glass. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> yeah, it's good, great quality. Great, great quality. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, cherries. Tobacco smoke, a woodiness. It's almost got like a barrel aged aroma to it, like there's some vanilla in here. Yeah, it smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a beer. Um, this might sound a little strange, um, but for some people it won't. Um, gravy, gravy. It's funny because when you brew an Imperial Stout, with all of the roasted malt flavours coming through, the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel, the creamy mouthfeel, and then the fruitiness of the cherries, somehow that massive combination has a slight graviness to it. A slight kind of beefy graviness to it. Now, let me explain. We've been experimenting recently only because my wife's rubbish at drinking wine. She'll say, oh, go and get me a bottle of wine. So I'll go and buy my wife a bottle of wine and then she'll drink half the bottle of the wine and go, I don't want any more. And then we'll use like a glass or so in a stew and then a glass or so. We've been experimenting with red wine in gravy on the Sunday roast. So last bit of the cooking, Get all the fats in the pan, get your oxo cubes in, the flour and everything else, and then and then ha add a quarter of a bottle of wine. That gives off. Oh, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. It, it's a wonderful taste. It's a it's a wonderful experience. But of course, it's fruity. It's a fruity gravy. So when I'm talking about kind of like thick, creamy mouthfeel. Um, tobacco smoke, roasted malt, and then cherries. This has got a slight, and I've had it before. It's not just this beer. It's not just this beer, but it's given off a slight kind of gravy flavour, which it it does. <laughs> it doesn't sound as bad as uh, uh, it's not. It's not bad at all. It might sound bad, but it's delicious. It's really delicious. It's very fruity. It's a very fruity imperial stout. Those cherries. If you think of cherries, when you, when you use cherries in a beer, if you've had a cherry lambic, it's dominated by cherries, isn't it? It's a really kind of full on flavour. Same can be said for this wonderful Imperial Stout in that, yes, and I think it's the reason why Deeds Brewing Company have used cherries. Yes, it's, it's roasted, there's chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours, the roasting flavours are dominating, the roasted mock flavours are dominating, but the cherry is also a dominating flavour. So what you're getting in your mouth is a clash between the cherry fruit and that tobacco smoke, dark chocolate roastiness. And it's smashing from side to side. It's kind of, it's like 
what's that blooming thing where they spin particles round the collider thing that they've built and they're trying to mimic a, like a star blowing a buzz I, I don't 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 ask me um anyway it, it's got that sort of like clash of the titans flavor going on that 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 big strong cherry over here and the roasted malt over here and it's like they're being smashed together and it's all happening in your mouth so don't worry about that big collider thing going on because we've all got a big collider thing going on and it's here it's here in your mouth this is the machinery just buy yourself an imperial stout with cherries and let all of that massive incredible flavor collision happen in your mouth and let your brain just go wow what did i just experience I finally got there. I finally got that after talking gravy. And, and I was kind of thinking at one stage in the beer review that, oh man, I'm talking about wine. I'm talking about gravy. I'm talking about Sunday lunch. I'm even talking about flour. Um, what has this got to do with beer? But I finally kind of, if you're still watching, I kind of knitted it all together right at the last, which is, I'm quite happy about that. Great beer, great mouthfeel, wonderful stuff. Nearly missed my mouth. Um, in terms of the alcohol, 12% ABV. It's rich. It's sweet. There's, there's not even a sign. In fact, it is now. If I think about it, there's a little bit of warming as the beer hits the throat. Slides down into the pit of the stomach. You get that warming sensation that goes on with a beer like this from the alcohol by volume, that 12% ABV. But my oh my, what a what a what a what a wonderful beer. Um there's quite a big description on the back of there. Oh, it, it, it is bourbon barrel aged. Ah, right, okay. I thought it was. I thought I could pick up a woodiness. A vanilla. I mentioned that in the review. It's, it's definitely woody and, and vanilla-y like it's been aged in a, in a bourbon barrel. It has, it says here on the back of the can, it's uh, aged in a bourbon barrel. So, so pause the video if you want to read that description. Pause the video. Have a look. But I'm going to rate it now. Glorious purpose. A blended imperial stout with cherries looks good smells good and tastes good there's no light bleeding through this glass whatsoever mm. that is incredible beer i like it enough to give it a stone the crows 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 beer from real l craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers